Ferrari have just released their successor to the LaFerrari, the Ferrari F80, which is their new Halo supercar hypercar. We released our synopsis a couple of days ago, so if you haven't seen that, I'll drop a link in the description below. And we thought we'd have a play around with a configurator just to see what options there are available to the general public because this is going to be a very, very spec dependent hypercar. So we're going to find a nice place to pull over. We're in our lovely Lotus Amira out for a nice drive in this lovely autumn weather. We'll find a nice place to pull over with a nice scenic backdrop and we're going to walk you through the configurator options that exist and the configuration that we would choose if we were buying a Ferrari F80. Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. So we've pulled over now in our beautiful Lotus. We've got the sun setting in the background and um, so we haven't got direct sunlight into my face so I can actually see what I'm doing. So this is a great scenic location for us to just pop the laptop on the car and go through the configuration options or our configuration options for the Ferrari F80. So when you go into the base configurator for, for the Ferrari F80, you've got some various default base configuration options. And these are, in effect, Rosso Corsa. So you've got a base configuration option, Rosso Corsa. You've got Aluminum Lucido as well as another option. You've got Bianco Italia, uh, Blue Electrico. You've got Giallo Triplo Strato as another base configuration option. You've got Green Jewel, which is, looks a bit garish to me, to be honest. You've got Rame Mika there as an option as well. You've got Rosso Supercar, which does look really good. And you've got Verde Mason Apaco, which looks as a good base color, actually, Verde Mason Apaco, apart from the fact of this base configuration option has all this flipping door numbering, all this race car numbering, which is good if you want it to be really aligned towards race car. But what we're going to start off with is Rosso Corsa with a base option configuration. Then you go into the configurator and it brings up a list of all the options that you can choose. Now this base configurator will not be the same configurator that the dealerships will have. The dealerships will have a much more extensive configuration setup. So we're going to walk quickly through the base configuration options, choosing what we would choose. Now you've got all these different various options here. You've got standard colouring options, your, your historical colours. And this historical colour is Verde British. Verde British Racing, which is actually quite nice. It's a very dark green. And if we walk through, if you go for the speller color, special colorway options you've got here, Giallo Triple O Strato. I just know that is Giallo Triple O Strato. It can't really be, be anything else in special colorway options. Um, and what we're going to choose here is we're going to choose. This is a special color option as well, just in the special color option. So this is where you've got green jewel. And I think that's just way too garish. But we're going to go to one of the classic colors and we're going to choose Verde Toscana. Here we have it, Verde Toscana. The 12th cylinder was launched with Verde Toscana. So this is already a classic colorway for Ferraris. And we think that the F80 will look very good in Verde Toscana. So we're going to leave that as the various, as the option, as external bodywork color for the for the F80. So let's go through the different options as it comes up. We're going to skip door numbering because we're not going to choose any numbering on the car at all. That would be just too much race car, in my opinion. In my opinion, they went too race car with it anyway. They should have moved a little bit more away from the 499P styling and more of a, an aesthetic look. So it's a bit too um it's a bit too race car like in my opinion but it is what it is so let's pop to livery now livery is actually is actually ferrari's way of saying stripe and what this provides if i show you one of these options if i chose if i chose yellow triple o strato as a stripe color um it says here rosso corsa livery plus choice of color now what that actually means is it, the actual pinstripe aligning next to the stripe will be in rosso corsa and the main stripe will be in yellow as you can see here it's not very explanatory it's not it you wouldn't think that live livery meant the actual pinstripe but in effect it does so rosso corsa actually livery means their approach to describing a stripe for your ferrari but what we're going to do here is we don't like stripes in, in our opinion, we think the F80 will look better without a stripe, so we're going to choose a no stripe option. But as you can see, you've got various different options here. You've got uh, Giallo Modena livery plus choice of colorway, etc. etc. 
So now let's go for rims. Now you've really got two options here. You've got carbon fiber or silver. And with your carbon fiber, you've got different carbon fiber options there. Not much of a choice. You haven't got a different wheel styling options. Again, a dealership may have more of a choice, but we're going to go for silver because silver goes with anything. And it's more of a classic look. Classic silver colorways are coming in more and more now. They're coming back. We just think that looks a lovely classic look, especially when you look against this F40 styling front wing. We think it looks really good silver against this Verde Toscana with this F40 styling wing that they have on the, on the wings of the F80. So we're going to leave the wheels as silver. Now, with regards to tyres, it's very it's interesting that they don't provide high-performance tyres as an option. You've got 217 mile per hour, 0 to 62 in 2.15 seconds hypercar here, and they haven't chosen high-performance tyres as a default option, which is quite interesting. <laughs> but we're going to select that option. And then what we've got is calipers. Now, we could leave it with black calipers, but what we're gonna do, and you could choose a bronze goldy color for the calipers as well, but it's a bit garish when you look, that's got to align really with the center caps and the shields. So what we're gonna choose is we're gonna choose yellow, and we're not gonna choose the standard shields, we we'll get onto that in a minute, but we want it to match with the center caps and with the shields of choice that we go for. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for standard yellow for the calipers. And if we come down now to the carbon fiber details and we're pretty much going to choose most of the options here so these are the standard options that are selected with this base rosso corsa configuration option which we've now obviously changed to um to verde toscana so let's choose most of these options we've got a front carbon inserts uh, we're going to choose this option now it says carbon fiber full body we don't want to go for that because that's going to need us to change all the various options as well obviously the whole external bodywork of the f80 is carbon fiber anyway so uh, you don't want to we don't want to just show all the carbon fiber on exterior we want it to be verdo verdi toscana's external body weight color so we're going to leave that i'm going to choose various different options now, if we change, if we select the rear spoiler to be in carbon fiber, we'll just show you what that looks like. We think it's far too much. It's too race car. As you can see here, it's far too much race car. So we're going to actually put it back to body color. We're going to take the rear spoiler off from being carbon fiber and put it back to standard bodywork color. The shields option. Now you can go for standard Scuderia shields, but what we're going to go for, we're going to go for the airbrush Scuderia shields. Now these are actually not hand painted these are not hand painted individually by an artist that sits down eloquently by the side of your ferrari and paints each badge individually no they're not they're done from a template that's why they all look the same but we feel that that looks better than the standard chills especially on a three million pound hypercar three million pound base before options hypercar so we're going to go with the airbrushed shields a lot more stylish and now we're on to the main interior color now, you can't choose Curio with this base configurator for some reason. We would go for Curio or a various tan option, maybe Chocolato to go with a green. That's a very classic look. Um, but we're going to leave it as red because that's as close as we can get to Curio. But if we were at a dealership, we, should check, we'd, we would change it to Curio or Toscana or one of those colorway options uh, for the interior. We're going to leave it as red because we feel that just fits a lot better with the external um, Verde Toscana. We've got the main interior colorway and then if we go for carpet colors you'll see it will bring us to a front section of the interior and we're going to choose here lower zone in alcantara which we feel i mean hell you're paying three million pounds for the base hypercar anyway let's go crazy <laughs> let's choose the alcantara for the lower section as well as you can see here you've got the upper dash in alcantara as well which we're actually going to leave under base coloring when we come to that section which should be in the next area if you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection rich reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar we have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. And we've got the various different seat belt options here as well. So seats type, let's go for seats type. We're going to go for special seats type, although on the configurator it actually shows no difference, but let hell, but hell, let's choose that anyway. It sounds cool. <laughs> 
So from seats type, we're gonna go seat belts. Now we could go for standard inertia reel. Let's click on that just to show you what it looks right. In effect, you're moving away from the four point harness, but we want the four point harness because it's race car. So we're gonna go for four point harness, but we're gonna go for the four point harness in black. And then we're gonna go into inner details. Now, inner details is this section here. And we're gonna go for inner details. I'm gonna choose black for these inner details. And then for stitching, we're gonna go for, which in effect is gonna provide your cavallino on the headrest if you want it there. We're gonna choose black because that black goes, we'll go with Curio and it will go with the red as well. Yeah, mostly people would choose yellow, but yellow isn't a colorway that would go with Verde, Verde Toscana with yellow embroidery there on the headrest. So we're gonna go for black for embroidery of the Cavallino there. And then we're gonna come back, lower and upper cockpit. Now, pretty much we've got the configuration we want there anyway. If we were to choose blue, this will put the upper dashboard Alcantara in blue and that's going to be quite reflective in the in the windscreen. We don't want that to be reflective. We don't want that colorway configuration um, because that could cause problem. So we're going to choose either charcoal, which is this, or we'll leave it switched off. But I think we'll choose this. We'll choose charcoal as the upper dashboard configuration. And it actually says up and lower cockpit. So it means that in effect, the cockpit and it will be in Alcantara, in charcoal Alcantara. Now from there we can go to steering wheel configuration, but if we choose Alcantara steering wheel, it then tries to change the whole rest of the configuration. So we'll probably leave that for a dealership, but we would go for an Alcantara steering wheel. With regards to infotainment, we'll have to wait for it to change its configuration option. We're going to pretty much go for all of these options. So passenger display, yes. And we want my Ferrari Connect activated rather than it be deactivated, which is the top option. So we're gonna go for my Ferrari Connect activated and then come out of that screen. So we've got those options locked in. These are the various driving safety options um, in addition to lifter. Obviously we want lifter, it's an F80, you're paying three million pounds, so you might as well have the lifter option there. Front and rear camera options, yes, we want AFS system, definitely. Um, garage door openers, we don't want that, so we're gonna leave it as standard configuration. Then anti-theft, definitely we want to switch on the SVR, system with cars who want it as secure as possible. This is uh, gonna be around a three and a half million pound car after all these configuration options. So definitely want it as secure as possible. Emergency cell, cell system is automatic selected, but we're gonna go also for the fire extinguisher, extinguisher option. Again, three million pound hypercar. We want a fire extinguisher in there just in case. And then we're moving down now to functionality. Now full anti-stone chipping is PPF. So we're gonna go for full PPF. And also, yes, you can get this done externally by a company like Topaz or one of the other various companies out there. But if you get this done by Ferrari, you get the Cavallino emblem on the wing section on the cars on the PPF and it looks really cool and, it's, and it can be a bit of a selling point. So we're gonna go for PPF. So there you have it. That's how we would configure our Ferrari F80 external bodywork color in Verde Toscana with Cuyo interior, but we've had to choose red here, black carpets, um, gray charcoal, black Alcantara, and the wing options and certain other options like that in bodywork color, but pretty much carbon fiber elsewhere. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know how you would configure your Ferrari F80. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.